This is your boy E. Wilson JTC is on the move. <clears throat> Listen, hello, good evening. It's evening right now where I'm at down here in Houston, Texas. Um, just came out of the String Fellow Unit uh, Penitentiary uh, in Rose Sharon, uh, about an hour from here, uh, from Houston. So passed through Houston and had to come on back up this way to my hotel uh, so I could get some sleep. But listen, uh, I just want to say um, first and foremost, like always, thank you to the JTC supporters. Those who know me personally know that um, I'm very grateful and I'm very appreciative. So, you know, if you've donated money, you know, if you volunteered, if you bought our gear, listen, I'm so appreciative. I wish, you know, when I talk about prisons and stuff, I think people start thinking about what they heard and what they seen on TV. And um, let me tell you something. It is some kind of experience. It has changed my life, literally. I uh, didn't even see it coming. I just have gone in to serve and to help. And, it, and God has blessed me through it in such phenomenal, phenomenal way. So I just want you to know as supporters that you play a role in that. When I go into these prisons, and I'm talking to these kings in there and I'm going cell to cell and into the break areas. If you imagine your break area at your job, you know, I'm in the break area with these guys. You know, this is their space. Some of them uh, were in there. They call them dorms. <clears throat> so their break room and bedroom is in the same area. I'm in there, you know, uh, but you're in there, too, because you're a part of this. That's why I call it partnership. You know, I shoot these videos just to be clear for those who support to let you know that we are doing the work and I will show you the proof of the work that we're doing. And so I'm just so excited about it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Hats off to Mike Barber Ministries uh, for them doing 30 over 30 years of prison ministry. And on this trip, you know, I'll go in, I went in with them uh, like I've been doing now for the over a year now. And so such a blessing. Such a blessing. If I could bring a word out of there, <clears throat> um, uh, and, and one of my boys, uh, Pastor Paul, has said this in a video to the Kings out in Snyder, Texas, the one time, and he said, you guys in here are more freer and more appreciative than people out in the free world. So for those of you who are watching this video, chances are you are not in prison. And I'm telling you that these men that I'm coming across in prison, somebody say, well, they're in a tight space and, you know, uh, you know, they've had to humble themselves. Yeah, sometimes we have to do the same. You know, you don't want prison to have to go to prison to be humble or to be nice or to be thankful. And, you know, to hear the appreciation, some of them saying they're glad they're in there because they couldn't get it together out here. You know, and that's not a cop out. That's just reality for some. And so it has prison has literally saved some people's lives. So now some of them are getting themselves together to strive to come back out and do better this time. But while they're in there, a lot of them are maximizing their time. They're going to school. They all work. So for those of you who think, you know, people in prison just laying around all day um, watching TV, they got jobs in there. You know, some of them got two jobs. They're going to school in there. So all I'm saying is that I'm not focusing on what they did. I'm focusing on what they're doing. And it's just been a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. And, and when I went to the one, I got to mention my man, D. Man, he lit me up with the word, man, of God. He was just so articulate and in-depth. And we encouraged each other. And I was just, when he started talking, I shut up because uh, the brother had something to say. And so um, with that being said, that's it. I'm wore out. I am totally exhausted. So if I look like I ain't, you know, uh, all this energy, I'm done. But it was well worth the trip. And my other word, my last word for those of you who have a purpose, whatever that may be, let me tell you right now, it is absolutely not going to be convenient. It is absolutely going to cost you your time. It's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you your life. If you want to see it happen and be committed to it, there's, you know, uh, that's all I have to say. It's going to cost you. It's not free. You know, I'm exhausted right now. Probably two hours sleep. I'm exhausted. But uh, when you're on purpose like this, it kicks you into another gear. 
where the Lord is really the one who's giving you the strength to do what you do. So this is E. Wilson right here over here in Houston, Texas. I'm shutting it down. Thank you again. And uh, as always, I'll come with another testimony from what happened, but I'm shot. If you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one. Partner with us. Go to our website, jtcunmove.org. What you waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? Love y'all. I'm out.